We're back to the average, to savage build. Savage. I keep doing that. Savage. Sick. Um, we're doing a little time lapse. I think I showed you. But the uh, camera went dead. We we're busy working. So last you saw is just kind of cut hanging out here. So the cage connectors in there. Brought it down into there. We'll have some detail bars and such going in there. Um, James and his dad there got the, all the suspension tore off the front of it. Just hanging there, waiting for some goodies. Yes, good goodies, good extra goodies. good goodies. If we've if we said I don't remember, we went ORB. They went ORB. A arms and radius rods. They got these. Seems like everybody's switching to these ball joint holders. And I think I know why. I'm sure the hind joint's gonna fit in there. But we've seen, and we're not afraid to talk about other channels, I don't think, but who was it? Was it Billy on Bloom Budget? Sheared that puppy off. I mean, they got, I'm shaking for some reason. They've got all this machined out of there so your ball joint fits in it. So it's weakened it up versus the hind joint. This is not, this, <clears throat> this is an old hind joint. How old do you think this is? That was probably one of my originals. Since we so. built sprinkles? Mm-hmm. And the only reason it came off is I forget why we were doing. Oh, putting the hydro steer in, we just decided to, we had a spare new setup like that. It wasn't rattly, didn't squeak, nothing. But just, you know, compared the, the beefiness there. Right in that area is where they break off at. Versus right over there, you got a big chunk of, big chunk of steel doing its job. I mean, you can tell I beat on it. Did something to it. And I, I usually don't worry about zero cares. Ramming my a arms into stuff. I'll just send it. But I've, I've not had one of these fail. It's still a big difference. The spares that are end up probably going to go on this. So. Yeah, big difference. Get your postal scales out. We could weigh them maybe for stuff for fun. Um, I have a theory that every that you know they people have quit going to the hind joint a arms just because people can't take care of them, and you know you can't use WD-40 on these because they'll tear out the plastic in there. See, there's a little piece of the plastic liner right there. And that was probably from you know, not having trick shot when I first got them. Yeah, but it's still solid. It's still good. This is our spare and I'd be willing to ride over anything with it. Um, but you got to use trick shot on these suckers here. And you got a red Loctite that together, the kingpin together. I think that's probably the reasons why you know, everybody gets the squeaks and the clunks because they just don't maintenance their stuff. These aren't. So we've got the, uh, we just reused OEM bushings in there for now because they seem to be holding up on brand new and they seem to be actually holding up decent. So we'll just save that for a later upgrade. Wear these down a little bit, but let's see what we got to do. All right, look, yeah. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? 
It's coming. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you needed nothing, sir, but a, a slight push. Slide that in there and keep that for a minute for now. Where'd that boat go? Hello. It's a silver one. I think it went eject omatic. That went somewhere if you grabbed it. Is that it? That's I didn't, one for the other side. I didn't grab it. <laughs> Where did you go? It's not there. Are you sitting on it? Isn't that it? No, that's a screwdriver. Oh, look. It's magic. Found it. <laughs> the funny thing in the shop, whenever anything's missing, Stephen always blames me. Well. And is it usually me? Nope. <laughs> you hold that up. That's all I needed. There. Start that right there. Just hold that. Going together nice and easy. Yes, it is. Alrighty. Fitment issues. <clears throat> Nothing. None. I ain't got none of them. So like I said, I was pretty sure we could do this. I just want to double check. I have to thread that in to see we're going to be right there. So definitely throwing the ball joint holders away because they're weaker than this is here. Just got to take care of it. Every riding. And these last forever. I've not broke one. You've not broke one. She's bent the shank on one one time. On the trailing arm, but it, it was nasty. It was it was a vicious throwdown. <laughs> I think there was a Badlands on that waterfall mm -hmm. thing, or what we called the waterfall thing. Me and Sprinkles weren't taking no for an answer. All right, so we're jumping on the front part of the cage. Yeah area um put the winch on the bumper a little bit stronger in my opinion than running the bolts you know this way into the frame um we're just cutting out a plate still in there it's nice we got some factory nuts welded in right there put them both in a plate for our lower tubing to come up into where the uh, thing, the winch is going to sit right there. So I plug those dimensions into our plasma table and it's cutting away on that right now. I don't know what I like. She's on the table cutting. But it's going good. So we're cutting out a big plate, put in there, catch the four bolts. So when that winch is pulling, it's got something to pull against, spread the load, and of course it'll 
come up into there. But uh, what we got going on is the Super ATV Black Ops winch. 4,500 pounds, be plenty for this size razor. And uh, I'm gonna get it out, start lining it up where I know where to put stuff. Um, interesting fact, you know, everybody's like, oh, you gotta have it. I think the plasma table just broke or something. Nope. Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's readjusting. It's adjusting. Let's check out them six safety goggles we got on. <laughs> they're like the old, they're like the new school, old school, like welder things. <laughs> goggles. That's our plasma table automatic cutting machine. 5,000. 5,000? Okay. I didn't know what model number it was. I think it's the 5,000. It's been a while since. <laughs> so just an interesting fact for you guys like oh you gotta have winch brand a b w whatever i don't want to buy the super atv winch because you know china whatever you think well little insider fact to you guys is insider knowledge not fact it's a fact this winch, you put a different housing on and put a different brand name, it's the same freaking winch. So save yourself some money. Best customer service, best warranty on anything they've got out there. Just get the Super ATV winch. We run them. Hardly ever use them, but when they do, they're plenty strong to get us out of whatever pickle we're in. So let's just see what we got here. There we go. Comes with your rocker switch, wires, more wires, wires, stopper for the flint, some bolts, some boots, and more bolts. Air lead, Oops. remote. Yikes, there we go. The big dudes. There it is. There it is. <laughs> get the uh let that plate cool off a little bit it'll take us forever take me forever hide, hide your cars um on the harbor freight drill press that is undoubtedly the i don't know i don't know not much to say about it get some bolt holes measured out cut out get that bolted on there and we'll start start going this way. What's in the biscuits and gravy? Is it straight? Yes, it's yeah, straight it now. Straight. All right. So where were we? I think we kind of been bad. We've not got much done here, kind of. Well, we had some visitors and other we, things yeah yeah we lied to you <clears throat> and got the uh suspension on so we could get it down on the ground mostly, mostly. it still needs a line and yeah stuff. it's not it's kind camber's of not set like this tie rods aren't set <laughs> but it's on there went together nice and easy get the brake lines yeah type the brake lines zip ties on the outer tie rods we got when well, we're messing with the getting the lower heim adjusted don't forget those super atv ball joints we need to put some grease in them yes so this is kind of where we're at 
We got plate in there, bolted in, some bars. Kind of tuck this thing from getting to, uh, in the rocks too bad. With the 35s, this 35 should be flush or just out in front of the bumper. Tried to hold the winch in close as much as we could. The Super ATV 4500 pounder. Big beefy plate we're gonna weld in there yet. And we've really been, it's the, it's the whole debate about, oh we hate the fish mouth bumper. And I don't, I don't know why. I, we, I just don't like the look. It does look like a fish mouth. It looks like a fish mouth. Like fish. Bass fishing, and you pull your big bass up out the water, it's wide open, it's a fish mouth. And they, they're all like that now, so. Yeah. That's, which I get it because of the fangs and. The it's, it started on that model. Everybody going around the fang lights and just the fish mouth. And with the pros, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I mean, we saw one that went from like here <laughs> all the way down it here. It was a shark mouth. <laughs> yeah, it was. Without the teeth. No, it wasn't even shark mouth. A it wasn't whale vicious. mouth. Whale mouth, I don't know. Not a killer whale, like. Yeah, I mean ugly. So just been playing with some ideas, spare pieces, ideas to avoid the fish mouth. We really like. We're gonna cut a little bit of that off, but we liked bringing that back because Polaris on the pros. If you guys haven't looked underneath your pro, has just got that radiator out in front of everything, unlike the XP models. Mm -hmm. So I'm basically K and M. You bump into a rock or a tree, you're gonna, sh you know, plastic between it and your radiator. So we wanted to give it some oomph right there. So, so I think we're gonna do kind of like my old four seater and just come off here into here with some jabby pointy, points, pointy things. Maybe not as sharp as ones on my old one. My old cage we'll because it, 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 it messed you up. <laughs> yeah, it got me a few times. And then we went with a, or I prefer sassy bends. You know, quite a bit of bend, so mm -hmm. give it a little shazam. Shambooza. Well, that's not really a shambooza. <laughs> shambooza can be whatever you want it to be. So. Yeah, this, I guess you want to uh, glove up and helmet up and I can hold this. Do the razzle dazzle. Do the razzle dazzle with the sparkle machine. So yeah, just two, two bars and then a little piece and we'll do, I mean, unfortunately, it's still going to remind us of a fish mouth, but it is not as it bad. Is. Not as bad. At least a fish mouth with teeth. Mm hmm Fangs. Yeah. And putting the front bumper or the the uh winch up on the front bumper kinda Wait with doesn't give you many options. With those fangs then does it become a snake mouth, like snake bite? Maybe. Maybe. Stuck to the top. I, I don't think I caught it. <laughs> Good. Yeah.
That's good. I like it. Whack a little bit of that off. Better for mine. Okay. If you're happy with it. I think so. I think I'm happy with it. Say when. It measures perfect. You got it eyeballed up nice. Everybody squint your eyes and that'll kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. They're probably wondering about that. I don't, when I started fabricating, I always swore I could see the overall look better if I squinted. And Steven didn't believe me, so I had him squint one day and it works. It works. It's kind of like putting your beer goggles on. Well, I think you just overlook the other stuff and, you know, you get it dialed in, in your mind. Mm-hmm. So now I think we'll probably just come across here with a bar and then maybe come up something like that. I'm not using that piece, it's too short, but get you, get you the picture. What do you think? I like it. Me too. Kind of just sleek, simple. It's a got little some, bit of sass. A little bit of attitude here and there. I like it. So what? Those, that, and I'm going to put a light bar in here, recessed in, so I have to put a bar over the top. Did he want intrusion bars? I don't know. And then maybe do some stuff back there. This is all pretty much done. Maybe a little in between bar there. I think we're gonna cover that with aluminum. Get rid of that plastic. But it was funny, I didn't say anything. I thought it was cute. You took your hat off and handed it to me. I'm like, oh, that's cute. Yeah, it's funny. Well, it's still <laughs> kind of fish mouth. I guess you just can't get away from it. It's fish with a twist. It's a snake mouth. Yeah. Or it will be when it's done. Yeah, we're going to walk these off. Right there. Put some little spikes on them. Maybe some little spikes on the end. Like I said, cut those off. Get those out of the way. The extra out of the way. But it's uh. It's good. It'll that winch is gonna work right there. And we came up here. Got that in there. So just finishing up, moving from the front to the back with all this little stuff. It if you like it. I think so. Is it covering that line? There. Stick it. I like it, don't you? Uh -huh. Probably put a bar up in the roof, button into that somewhere. Well, we're wrapping up on the Pro XP build, and uh, it's probably something we normally wouldn't show because we would figure most everybody is mounted beadlock wheels, tires on beadlock wheels. But after watching 
a hilarious video on the fake books um, of somebody trying to put in their axle. Because again, an axle, we've all broken, we've all replaced them. You would think you would know how to do it. So this is just informationals for anybody who doesn't maybe know. And this may not be the correct way. This is the way we do it. My tires on mine haven't let out any air that I haven't wanted to let out. So, I don't know. But, on this build, we're doing the race lines. It's our probably personal favorite. These are the Mambas, right? The Black Mamba B Blocks. Black Mamba. I think, I don't know. <coughs> Just, we've always ran race lines and I've, I don't think that I've broken one. Have you broke one? And no. you're slamming into rocks and stuff. They don't leak that we've had luck with ever in any machines we've had them on. They're just a good, a good wheel. Sick. So the 15 inch. It rips. Because that's the most popular wheel size now. Uh, they're just. A good, a good wheel. So these come, let's just bust these loose real quick. Milwaukee tools for the win. I think one thing that race line could probably do better would make these rings where they recess and hold the bolts in there, but these, so they sit on there like that, they get a little dinged up, but, but nothing you can't deal with. Nothing that we've had any problems anyway. We'll go ahead and make a mess on the floor with some soapy water. Dawn dish soap water. That way, probably not me, but Amber will slip and fall because she's accident prone. Mm -hmm. well, a lot of people probably just do it when it's on already mounted, but I like making a mess, I guess. I can verify that. <laughs> start that inner one and usually like rockzillas i'll just put my hand in there and push them down but yeah we're not going with the rockzillas we're going with the nittos trail grapplers um because rockzillas never in stock and then when they come back in stock they're gonna probably want six hundred dollars a tire for them so these we got our buddy from our buddy up the road we can get them for you if you, if you want them come pick them up um these are about like 310 bucks something like that or 313. It was something so, like that. Already a hundred off of Rockzilla retail instantly. So, because I got big old, you know, whatever you want to call them, meat, meat hooks. hooks. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you call them meat hooks. I just grab this and work it down around in there. And then just these sit nice on these. The Rockzillas seem like you really got to stretch them out, but you will make sure your tire's sitting around your bead there. Another nice thing about the race lines, my opinion, I know some other wheels have them, but if you strip this set of bolts out, then you just take it off and slide it all over one. So. Set that on there, get <clears throat> get the bolts started so you, you know, don't strip them out, which the saying is cross threads better than no thread, that's true. 
but you don't you don't, don't like to have to deal with it when you've done it yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's avoid that that's that's last ditch uh trail fix option you know when you got it when you're broke you gotta do whatever you can to get back and you can use a torque wrench whatever we're using the old little impactor just because you know right there's the torque wrench and, and that'll click whenever i got it good enough we've done a few of these you know There we go. So you use a torque wrench if you want. It's up to you. Honestly, if this wasn't basically, you know, this is on James Razor, he's gonna be riding with us. So it's kind of like our razor. You know, we're the we're the godfathers of maintenance and godmother of maintenance on in the fairy godmothers. Yeah, and fathers. I'm, not, I'm not the fairy god godfather, but <laughs> There's some people that are, but uh, uh, yeah, so we, we're the ones that deal with all this. So half is yours. We'll torque them down if you like, but I said mine's been on mine for three years and maybe we're like that cartoon show, the fairly odd parents. Do you remember that? The, yeah, we'd be more along the lines than this. So it's going to get loud here in a minute. putting battery cables on and no sparkies you know when you get the sparks and the tire pop it always makes you hop a little bit you need to hurry up yeah i hear a storm coming it's coming thunders so back here 
in the weed pile. Here it is. Yep, she's all finished. Well, I mean, I'm gonna put a little more air in the tires, but other than that, she's finished. Got the gear reduction, ORB radius rods, cage, rear bumper, some China whips. whips and light bars. Yes, with um, Steven said I was supposed to say Nylite, but I'd like to think that it's Miller Light. But you know, the light's not spelled right either. But I don't, I'll do it. Oh, we got rock lights. We got rock lights. Rock lights, cage, panels. And there's our way we do that. I guess we already showed that, just finished out. PRP harnesses. Ratcheting harnesses. Ratcheting harnesses. Uh, with the ratchets on the other side. Yeah. Where is it at? It's on the other side. No, he didn't get ratchets on this. Oh, yeah, yeah. He just got ratchets over there, the which ratchets. is a good way to send mon spend, save money if save you don't money. really have someone riding with you. And as James likes to call them, the rock skis. Rock skis. And guys, the color, not the color we would pick or James' dad would pick, but James picked it. The customer's always right. And it really, it looks good. It looks a lot better than we thought, purple and yellow. And I think they said that's his school color, so I think that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So, some door, Polaris door inserts. And those are nice. They clean the look up in there a lot we got the nittos i guess we kind of said a lot of this stuff the race line reels the orb front suspension super atv winch we're hoping james doesn't 4, need to use it. but you know it's nice to have if you do and the nittos and the big light bar in the front big light bar in the front cage be able to disconnect it up there a good looking ride and this is what you know the stuff we started out with i guess to get our stuff for trail ready for going out on the hard trails is 35s race line wheels and tires gear reduction, gear reduction. Cage. um the trailing arms are still factory but you don't need to spend the money on the trailing arms quite just yet uh beat those up a little bit Get some beating and banging on them. Then you can upgrade. So sway bar is still connected. I'm sure that'll come off eventually. He's a new rider, so leave it on, let him get the feel of things, and then take them off. Yep. So we drove it around and it rides nice and smooth. It'll get our clutch kit. We got those coming. It'll get our clutch kit when they get here. But man, that's just a good looking build. I know I'm partial to it, but really anxious to see the Nittos in action. Super anxious about that. But yeah, it looks, it looks good. Front sway bar, we took it off and you can tell the difference. I mean, look at that flex. That's crazy. It's a tire way down here. Tire way up there. If you had your sway bars on, you would be teeter tottering right now. So. No, thank you. That flex looks good. I have to get a cell phone picture of that. I don't have my phone. I don't either. So, I guess we won't get a picture of it. You can get a picture with the GoPro. <laughs> yeah. But there it is you know we named it average to savage but people think savage is fully built and it's not this uh this sucker is going to be on the hard trails with us and that's the savages right there all stock axles we'll uh we'll get some rhinos in there before too long if you need rhinos anything super atv we can get you that we're the parts dealers now for them Another way to support on something you would be buying anyway. But yeah, that's I love this thing. It almost makes me want to go buy a pro. So, super big thanks. This is 
James and Adrian's buggy. James's buggy. Adrian's his dad. They're, they're going to ride some with us. Great people. Big thanks for bringing us their second unit to work on. The build. So, you want to hop in it? Sure. I'll walk. Or are you playing in the rocks? Well, I mean, exposed a pretty cool rock. And this came off the farmer's property we accidentally stole the dirt from. And by accident, we didn't steal it, but then we had to confess that we stole it, and it was kind of a mess. Some miscommunications. But they weren't mad. Alrighty, well, let's get this up. I'm gonna drive it. You can drive it back. Yeah. I'll let, we'll watch you ride off in the sunset. So good looking buggy, good looking build. We're partial to it, you know, cause we did it, but uh, it looks good. Um, it looks really good. I like it. It's, I'm, I've not liked the pros until that build right there. So thanks for tuning in on this one. Uh, we're working on the turbo stretch next. Actually working on it now. It'll be the next build you'll see. Um, be sure to check us out. We got the clutch kits coming. We got parts. We got OEM parts. Uh, yeah, we're, we're working towards a full-time shop. So we'll see you guys on the next one.